guys and welcome back to another episode of Raptors Garage. Now you might be a little bit confused uh, with the title of this video. So those of you that have been following us I'm for quite a while, I'm confused are you confused me? <laughs> so those of you that have followed us for a while um, will know in the very early days Paul had a ground tent which he actually sold to one of our subscribers who's getting great use out of it now and he bought a second-hand Hannibal roof tent and he recently sold that and he sold a roof tent and he bought another ground tent which was the uh, Austent RX3 wasn't it which you saw yeah. reviewed RV3. RV. RV3 which we reviewed recently comparing it to my Tough Trek roof tent um, that was only about two or three weeks ago and I'm now stood underneath Paul's new roof tent which has come from uh, Armadillo 4x4 he's still got the ground tent but he has actually made the decision that he wants the kind of best of both worlds. So what we're going to do now is we've got both our roof tents set up. We've got my Tough Trek roof tent set up. We've got Paul's new Armadillo 4x4 roof tent up. And we're just going to give you guys a bit of a comparison as to uh, how they compare. So we've had um, a good half hour, haven't we, just sort of going over both of them. This is the first time they've both been together. Yeah. And uh, you know what? They are pretty much identical. Except for the little differences. Yeah. There's a few little differences. I mean, you can see the companies have made their own little changes, maybe. Yeah. In it, They've had their own thoughts, haven't yeah. they? But if you start from the floor, yeah. they're identical. Identical. The hinges are identical. Yeah. Um, the fabric's identical. Yeah. It looks this like is two great quality. It's only yeah. the non rip stuff, isn't it? Yeah, the 280 rip stuff. 280 rip stuff, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's 280. 280 or 300. Yeah. It's one or the other. But, you know. It's good quality. Yeah. It's good quality cloth, isn't it? Yeah. Big heavy duty zips. Yeah. For the awning. The difference on yours is you've actually got some additional Velcro runs yeah. all the way around the inside of this bit in order to yeah. that's why just where, like where your, extra steel, isn't it? Yeah, where your zips on mine zips and zips velcros. And that's probably the biggest difference, yeah. except for the poles, isn't it? Yeah, the poles. So the poles on is it the poles all the way through or just this yeah. pole? Poles all, all the way through a on thicker the tough track thicker. What I did like about yours though is where these poles they go into a little plastic cup, whereas in yours they go into a little metal cup. Yeah, they go into a die cast aluminium yeah, seat. I do think that's a little bit of a weak point, but it's good yeah. at some point break. Um, guy ropes, you said it's significant, but guy ropes are They're thicker. thicker. You've got some nice little shoe hammocks. Um, I did have a hammock, but I just don't I don't think it's as usable. They're nice. Two little shoe hammocks. Yeah, they're really good. Person. Like them. Those are good. Um, like Nick was saying when pick it up, he says that's great, you can get up, sit on the edge, just chuck your shoes in. Because yeah. we all know how painful it is going up these ladders without shoes on. Yeah. And when the ground's wet or cruddy or whatever. Yeah. I said mine's got one, but I just don't think it, it's, you've already got the clips in place, you just literally fasten it in and it's fastened in all four corners. So yeah. It does sit nice yeah, it's proper hammer can to use. Um, mine's got an additional bar, which if you did watch the Tough Trek video, guys, you weren't actually quite sure what it was about. Um, Dara from Tough Trek did say, it does basically clips in to kind of give you a bit of yeah. extra bracing. So if you did have a gust of wind, it's not going to blow the thing. Yeah. If you, have, if you haven't got the guy ropes down, you it starts to blow in shot, don't it? Yeah. Dan hasn't got that. Uh, so the, I think the real big difference is the ladder, which yeah. I think to some degree is probably going to account because yours was a little bit more expensive, £175 more expensive, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but the ladder is very good quality. Yeah, the it's. The downside uh, of it is it's all in Chinese. <laughs> Yeah, I've said that in the, if, if you go back and watch the video before this, the unboxing video, the instructions for those ladders and the instructions on the ladders are in Chinese and the instructions for putting up the tent itself are basic and unless you follow the pictograms that are in there, yeah. useless. I thought your instructions were bad. Yeah, we weren't over impressed instructions on no, the top. No, the, the, they're dreadful on that. They, they really need to work on their instructions I mean let's face it they're pretty self-explanatory yeah. to put up aren't they um, yeah so not, you don't need to be a rocket science but it does help if you've got, yeah. got heads up on some of the bits because you know you, you think when I did mine you've got the experience so you knew straight off a lot of what you're trying to do um, whereas had I been completely new to this and bought myself a roof tent yeah you know, I probably come unstuck in a couple of spaces unless of course I had a Raptors garage video to go and watch so now do it yeah it would be nice video. Yeah, for, I think for the sake of a bit of time getting some instructions or some stickers to stick on things in the case of the, um, the ladder that are in English, um, you know, again, little things like that. Quality wise, on both of them, you can't fault them. You know, I mean, no. I've slept in mine a good few times now and I'm over the moon with it. It's fantastic quality. 
really pleased they're very comfortable the mattresses are good on that yeah that uh, i think they're about the same thickness as well they're yeah. pretty much identical the mattresses are yeah. the the benefit of that one is they've got a lot more height than our hannibal one that we had yes and it's a bit wider yeah. it's nowhere near as claustrophobic it's not as heavy is it you said as well it's definitely lighter yeah because it's the um, aluminium aluminium and foam nice. composite uh, floor yeah. but no like I said they, they are pretty much the same aren't they yeah so I say you wouldn't break one over the other so no. apart from the, the, the slight price difference um, I'm you know going round and, and looking at the construction there's there's bits on both of them that you'd swap yeah but as a package they work don't they yeah. I mean we haven't used this one yet and we can't wait to get out and actually try it but uh, I think it's going to be really good at the end of the day. Uh, I know if you watched the not the last video video before when we were at, actually at Calmarsh, it hammered it down all weekend. We had snow, gale, and the lads from Armadillo got these tents and they were bone dry. Yeah. And it just nailed it down. Yeah. Um, so I don't have any you know, feet. Yeah, yeah. Any any at all on that. But yeah, I think they're pretty much the same. Yeah, so basically, you know, thumbs up on both of these. Um, you know, as I said on the Tough Trick video, when I got mine, I knew it was a lot of money, and to some degree, I knew I was spending a lot of money because it was a roof tent. But having actually seen them now and seen quality, like it's, you get what you pay for. Mm. It's a great quality. There's a lot of work that should go into it. They've been well designed, and clearly, you can see that each company has had different thoughts on probably. You know, input from um, customers over the years as to what they want to change, little modifications, hence the reason. In all intents and purposes, they're very much identical, but there's little differences on each one that these companies have made. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope it was useful. Don't forget, obviously, to click and subscribe and leave us any comments on uh, any tents you've got you want to recommend below. Now, all of course, all I need to do is go and get myself a ground tent to keep up with Paul <laughs> and his tent fetish. Um, no, the ground tent's gone on the free line. Right, okay. Or the green meaning. Yeah. Mm. Right, guys, let's meet you soon. Take care. <laughs>